We will discover in this video how to create, configure and publish datasets on a data portal. And for that, we will be using data on cities all over the world that have launched their own data portal with Open Datasoft. Firstly, to publish a dataset, you must have access to the back office of your data portal. If you can't access it, it means that you are lacking the appropriate set of permissions. Ask your portal's administrator to grant them to you. You can connect to many data sources to create a dataset. In the video, we will use an archive file in zip format located on your computer. On the page that lists the data sources available, let's select the option that lets us upload a file from our computer. Name the dataset. Pro tip. To name your dataset, make a sentence in which you put the number of records and replace this number with list of. Our dataset contains the list of cities that have opened an open data portal with ODS. Let's now move on to the processing tab. This is where you will configure filters and clean or enrich your data with processors. Click the funnel of the fields that you wish to set up as filters. Placing fields as filters is highly recommended to help users search in your data. You can also check this option to enable users to select different values in the filter. We can also make the field sortable. Lastly, by selecting Name Ascending, you comment how field values are sorted in the filter. Let's choose to sort countries alphabetically. The Information tab contains the data on your data, meaning the metadata. The metadata gives user information on your data, on its theme, keywords, description, language, producer, license, etc. It is imperative that you fill in thoroughly to make your dataset discoverable by users via your catalog. Let's move on to the Visualizations tab. Six types of visualizations are available to display your data and therefore give your users keys to dive deeper into the data. In the table view, let's sort how data is displayed by showing the cities that have released their data portals the most recently. Then we can hide some fields that are not relevant for users, such as cities logos or geographical coordinates. This type of information will be found in the other tabs. The Analyze tab will display one graph to our users. Let's decide what main information we need to share to them through this graph. To do that, you need to know your dataset schema very well. Here, we could, for instance, feature the cities that have been most active by publishing the highest number of datasets in 2021. Let's rank them using a bar chart. The category axis, the x-axis, is the cities while the values axis, the Y axis, is going to be the field listing the number of datasets published in 2021. Then you can configure the map and image visualization to give your users another way of discovering your data. Finally, you can include custom visualizations built from ODS widgets in the custom view. For example, this one, where you have KPIs, a custom table, and some cards. Finally, go on to the security tab to give unrestricted access to this new dataset by unchecking this box. Or you can give access to specific users or groups by adding them directly here. And finally, let's save, publish, and explore the new dataset.